do you feel sometimes that your brain is just not working? Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who are starting to notice a few memory changes and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a wellness coach for over 12 years, these last few years, I'm hearing more and more people come to me with concerns about brain fog. Now, back in the day, we talked about brain farts. Those were few and far between. It was kind of a joke with us, but it did happen. But these days, it's a little more concerning. But here's the good news. You can get better. And some of the things that you can do don't cost any money. Okay, so what's one of those things? Sunlight. Unfortunately, Many of us just do not spend enough time getting proper sunlight. Our lifestyles are such that we just don't allow for that. Now, why is sunlight so very important? Because it allows your own body to make its own vitamin D. And why is vitamin D so important? Vitamin D is an instructor. It gets in your body. It tells your body and your brain what to do. It helps with better cognition and other things in your body to get straightened out as well. Now, how much sunlight will you need? Well, that kind of depends on some factors like the color of your skin and where you live and the time of day, your age, those kinds of things. But basically, we're talking from 10 to 30 minutes, three times a week for most people, exposing your skin to the sun. Okay, so we don't mean to have to cover up your whole body. We don't talk about sitting by the window, driving in the car or the window. That is not getting direct exposure to your skin. Neither is having sunscreen on. So they say for those first 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your sensitivity, you don't need to put on sunscreen. Then put it on after that, though, so you don't start damaging your skin. Okay, so and many experts are also saying that midday is the optimal time. So we're talking 11 to 12, depending on your where you live, when the sun is up there, that you get more efficient use out of the sun and your body's able to make more vitamin D. All right. So if you want to hear a lot more about vitamin D this coming month, my newsletter will be focusing on vitamin D. So make sure that you have subscribed to that. If you haven't, just click on the link and you can subscribe to a free monthly newsletter that I put out every week. Look for it at the beginning of the first week of the month and you will find that in there because your brain's destiny is in your hands.